What are parallel universes and what is the many worlds theory? Do you think that you are unique? In your perception of the world, the answer is pretty simple. You are certainly different from each and every person in this planet, but is our universe unique too? The concept of multiple realities complicates this simple question and challenges what we know about ourselves and the world. The idea of potential multiple universes or parallel universes seems so bizarre and unrealistic that it is seen as a product of science fiction novels or movies and not a real-life scenario. However, there isn't any experiment made on this yet that can demonstrably discredit its validity. The origin of parallel universes are closely linked with the introduction of quantum mechanics in early 1900s. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that studies the world of infinitesimally small atomic particles. It predicts the pattern and behavior of these small particles. Earlier physicists had many difficulties in accommodating a mathematical model to the characteristics and behavior of quantum matter because some matter exhibited signs of both particle-like and wave-like behaviors. For example, a photon, a tiny bundle of light, can travel vertically up and down while moving horizontally backward or forward. Such behavior contrasts with that of objects visible to our naked eye, because everything we see moves. This theory of duality of matter has been termed the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that the act of observation disturbs quantities in terms of their position and momentum. As per quantum mechanics, the observer effect can impact the form of quantum objects during its measurements. Future quantum theories like Near Bohr's Copenhagen interpretation use the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle to state that an observed object does not retain its dual nature and can only behave in just one state. In 1954, Hugh Everett, a student from Princeton University, proposed a radical idea which differed from that of popular models of quantum mechanics. Everett did not believe that observation can cause quantum matter to stop its multiple forms. Instead, he believed that observation of quantum matters divides the universe. In simpler terms, the universe makes copies of itself to account for all the different possibilities, and these duplicates will proceed ahead independently. For instance, every time a photon is measured, a scientist in one universe will analyze it in a particle form, while to another, it will be in waveform. Each of these universes offers a unique and independent reality that coexists simultaneously in other parallel universes. If Hugh Everett's many worlds theory is true, it holds so many ramifications that will completely baffle our perceptions on life and will transform our thinking. Actions which have more than one possible result produce a split in the universe. Then it is true to say that there is an infinite number of parallel universes and infinite copies of you and me exist simultaneously. Now, these copies have identical facial and bodily features, but most likely they do not have identical personalities. One may be passive in nature and the other one aggressive. This is because each person experiences a separate outcome. This infinite number of alternate realities also suggests that nobody can achieve unique accomplishments. With this concept, every person has done or will do everything in his life in the parallel versions. So, all of us are presidents of the United States. If not in this universe, then in some other version of the universe. The multiverse theory implies that everybody is technically immortal. Old age will no longer be a killer because in some alternate realities, they could be so technologically and scientifically advanced 
that they have developed some type of anti-aging technique or medicine. If you do die in some world, another version of you in another world will always survive. The most concerning significance of parallel universes is that your perception of the world is never real. Our so-called reality at an exact moment in one parallel universe will be totally unlike that of another world. It is only a tiny fraction of an infinite and absolute truth. Currently, you might believe that you are reading this book at this moment. But simultaneously, there are many copies of you that are not reading it. Moreover, you are even the author of this book in some universe. Thus, winning awards and making decisions matter if we might lose those prizes and make different choices altogether. The fundamental question then is, is living and breathing at this moment important? If we might actually be dead somewhere else? If we carry on to think with this same logic of multiverse, then it is due to few probabilistic events we have been born as humans in this universe. In some other universe, we are still ancient nomads, or maybe due to some genetic differences, we might be a dog, or a cat, etc. Eventually, if we continue thinking with this same logic, we have a possibility of becoming anything, right from prokaryotic cells to complex mammals like human beings. So all of us exist in different forms of being simultaneously. We all exist not just in human form, but also in all possible living forms in different universes. It's true to say that we are everything. So don't hold personal grudges with anyone because you never know whether that person is you in another universe. The concept of many universes is not a new concept in human society. This theory has been stated roughly 5,000 years back in one of the Eastern religions, Hinduism. You are unlimited. Neither the lords of heaven nor even you yourself can ever reach the end of your glories. The countless universes, each enveloped in its shell, are compelled by the wheel of time to wander within you, like particles of dust blowing about in the sky. The Shrutis following their method of eliminating everything separate from the Supreme become successful by revealing you as their final conclusion. The layers or elements covering the universes are each ten times thicker than the one before, and all the universes clustered together appear like atoms in a huge combination. This does make some sense if the concept of a multiverse really happens to be true. Australian mathematician Hans Moravec developed a famous experiment called Quantum Suicide in 1987, where he tried to expose the possibility of parallel universes. In this experiment, a person is connected to a deadly weapon and a machine that determines angular momentum or the spin value of protons. Every 10 seconds, the spin value, or quark, of a new proton is recorded. The results showed that there are 50% chances in each scenario to kill or to spare the person. If the multiverse theory is true, then the experimenter's survival probability decreases after every quark measurement until it ceases and essentially becomes zero. On the other hand, multiverse theorists argue that the experimenter always has a 100% chance of living in some parallel universe, so that person has encountered with quantum immortality. When the quark measurement is processed, there are only two possibilities. For example, the weapon can either fire or not fire. So, multiverse theorists claim that the universe splits into two different universes to account for the two endings. The weapon will fire in one universe, while it won't get fired in some other universe. Due to moral reasons, scientists cannot use Moravec's experiment to disprove or support the existence of many worlds as the test individual may only be dead in that particular reality and still alive in another universe. Whatever the case may be, the multiverse theory and its implications challenge everything we know about this world we live in.
If you've liked Inkstall's edutainment, then go to inkstall.in and sign up for free. Producing our videos takes a lot of time. If you'd like to support Inkstall, you can do so on patreon.com forward slash Inkstall. Please refer the link below to buy Inkstall's book on space, time, and beyond.